how does fair use support the distribution of research output? The fair use enables, in fact, the reproducibility of science. Fair use allows researchers to examine, consider, and in many ways integrate the research output on subject that came before current scientific research that's ongoing, integrate it, and then um, produce a new. Developments are reported, not because they're developments in isolation, but because they're developments in context. And that in fact is a necessary element of fact-based um, research output that is in fact reproducible, which is a, a foundation um, of the uh, sci scientific research um, uh, that takes place. And when fair use is inhibited, when terms and conditions of licensing agreements um, come into play, the ability for us to continue the contextualization um, uh, of research output is also inhibited. And what can be, in fact, not only um, distributed or viewed um, by the existing scientific community, but in fact integrated and used in a productive, useful way um, becomes a, a real issue. This is true whether it's data and it's true whether it's findings, it's true whether it's methodology and it's true even um, in the case of um, uh, survey questions, for example, in um, the public health space. All of these types of aggregations of factual information are potentially copyright protected. And without fair use, um, the, the, the ability of the scientific community to reuse is in fact very much inhibited. <laughs>